Now, let's go into the world of art. The art section of this museum was an integral part of archaeology section until the year 1983. This museum had a collection of 400 artifacts from which 54 selected artifacts were displayed in the National Art Gallery at the time of its establishment in the year 1951. The Contemporary Art Gallery was established in January 1984 after it separated from the archaeology section. It has a collection of 1,200 artifacts and paintings. Paintings of eminent artists in India from various art schools are represented including the modern works of T.P. Roy Chaudhary, Nandalal Bose, Jamini Roy and artists from Tamil Nadu such as Adi Moolam, Vaidyanathan and others. British Art The Garment Museum consists of 12 British paintings, all of which are oil on canvas. These paintings date from as early as the year 1972 to 1934. Lord William Bentick It is an oil painting painted by H.W. Pickersgill, a British artist who worked in India in 19th century. The painting shows the figure Lord William Bentick who became the governor of Fort St. George and Madras Presidency in 1803 to 1807. You can see the landscape in the background and the portrait in the standing position. Lord Kanimara It is an oil painting painted by George Smith in 1900 in India. Lord Kanimara became the governor of Fort St. George during the period from 1886 to 1890. In the memory of his achievements as administrator in India, the public library has been named as Kanimara Public Library, situated inside the Chennai Museum. Sir Ayer Coote. It is an oil painting painted by Thomas Hickey, a British artist worked in India during 19th century. During his stay in Madras from 1812 to 1824, he was employed for conserving the portraits of governors and generals. The portrait of Sir Ayer Coote had been copied onto a canvas by him. Sir Ayer Coote had served as Commander-in-Chief of the Army from 1769 to 1770 and 1778 to 1783. Now let's see the contemporary paintings. The traditional Indian paintings were mostly religious in nature. It has flourished in spite of domination of Mohal paintings. The British introduced oil paintings in India in early 19th century. The Gallery of Contemporary Art of Chennai Museum has shown extraordinary presence in starting a collection of Indian contemporary art right from the beginning of 19th century. The Tanjore painting. It is a classical South Indian painting style which was originated from the town of Tanjavur. It is distinguished by its famous gold coating. The paintings are characterized by rich and vivid colors, simple iconic composition overlaid with glittering gold foils and inlay of glass beads or very rarely precious gems. In Tanjo paintings, one can see the influence of Deccan, Vijayanagara, Maratha and even European style of paintings. The subjects of most paintings are Hindu gods, goddesses and saints. Episodes from Hindu Puranas, Stella Puranas and other religious texts are visualized, sketched or traced and painted with the main figures placed in the central section of the picture. The Tanjo paintings are panel paintings done on wooden planks and referred as Palagai Padam. In modern times, these paintings have become gifts for festive occasions in South India, colourful pieces of art to decorate walls and collector's items for art lovers.